Hello, today we're going to take a look at the Sabine Tech Sing Mic, kindly sent to me for review. This is going to be a crowdfunded product to begin with, and they've sent me a model that is almost finished. There's still a few software tweaks to do, but it's a really cool looking little bit of kit. It's a, it's a Bluetooth microphone, connects with your mobile phone and can be used with a camera. I'll show you how shortly, but you can see it fits in the hands nicely. It does come in a range of colors. They've sent me the whites and it's just got a few control buttons on the front. You can see there's little LEDs in the microphone itself. That lets you know it's powered on. You've got a central switch here, which is used to power this on and off, as well as for a special mode I'll show you later. There's a function button in the middle and then some select buttons either side. These are normally used to change the volume, but you can also use them to change the special effects on your voice. On the bottom, there's a small indicator light showing you the Bluetooth status, USB Type-C charging port, and then a couple of 3.5 aux jacks one allows you to plug in some headphones and the other allows you to wire connect this to your mobile phone it also came with a range of cables to get set up and a set of headphones so you can monitor as well as a wing guard that just pops on the top like so the companion app is free to download and gives you all sorts of controls you've got pro controls for changing your voice sound effects mixing it in and for those of you who forget what you want to say, you can make use of an inbuilt teleprompter, which is a really cool addition. The only other time I've seen something like this is the excellent Big View app. So you can type up your notes, press play, hit record, and you've got a teleprompter on your mobile phone while getting nice crispy sound via the microphone. As well as being able to record from the front or back cameras, you can turn the camera off and just record the audio only. Great if you're producing a podcast. I've brought this out with me. I've just come near a main road so you can see lots of cars behind me and I'm just filming this on my OnePlus Pro 9 just to give you a demonstration of how smooth the video is and how good the audio is without a microphone and I'm gonna to have to swap the app now from the OnePlus inbuilt camera app to the microphone app. So now I'm using the microphone and the microphone app so I'm expecting as I'm walking down the sound to be nice and crispy but for this to be a little bit jerkier because it's not using the phone's inbuilt stabilization feature. So next up I'm going to pair the microphone with the little wind protector it's got on with a gimbal and hopefully we'll get a really nice smooth video with nice crispy sound. This should now be the best of everything so I've got the phone on a gimbal to give a nice smooth steady image. I'm using the microphone, it's got its little wind protector on so if there's any wind noise that shouldn't interfere. I'm by a very busy road and also near a motorway so it's quite quite noisy, lots of noise in the background so if you can hear the uh, bus just braking there and I think the sound when I've played it back sounds pretty good so if you're out and about you know, there's no wires attached to this you just have to make sure that it's set up correctly Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Make sure it's out correctly. Now, one thing I can't do is I can't use my Gimbals app along with the microphone because the Gimbals app doesn't use external microphones. So I'm having to use the microphones app, if that makes sense. Use the microphones app, and then I can just control the gimbal uh, just manually. But I can't use any of the fun fancy features such as the auto tracking, which is why it sometimes has me going out of shot because I'm manually trying to track myself. This is a Bluetooth microphone and while it's primarily meant to be used with your mobile phone, if you happen to have one of the original smart mics that they make, you can pair it with this to use it with a camera, which is exactly what I've done here. I've got two of these and this, what I would normally do is pair this with the other one, pop that on me and that will transmit to my camera. Well, in this case, I've simply paired this microphone with a receiver, a little smart mic receiver, and that allows me to use this with a normal camera. So it's worth noting this can be connected via a wire. You don't have to Bluetooth connect it, but if, like me, you've got a phone that doesn't have a mic in, you might have to get one of these little adapters. If your phone doesn't come with one, this just turns the USB Type-C into a 3.5 input, and that allows you to connect the mic. It's worth noting I can't use my standard Android camera app with this microphone. I've had to download something called Open Camera and if you go to the video settings and then the audio source you can set it to external mic if present and that will use this wired. So the included headphones are useful for monitoring what you sound like because this has an active voice changing feature where 
at a push of a button. If I start pressing this button now, it will start to cycle through. So the first uh, special effect is a reverb, and you can increase the amount, and then eventually you start to change your voice, and it can sound a little bit funny, sound a bit deeper. Whatever it is you're going for. So one thing I would say is there's nothing on the actual microphone that lets you see what effect you've chosen. You have to look on the app or have a listen. And I would really love it if it was possible to maybe even just disable them, just to stop you from accidentally choosing this mode. When you're out and about and you're trying to do some recording. One of the things I noticed in the instruction manual is this button has a special feature that allows you to mute the vocals on music tracks. So I thought I'd give it a go. But anything that plays from my mobile will also play out of the speaker. So let's get some music on the go. And the idea is, if I press this button, so the idea here is that if you can't find a good uh, karaoke version of a song, you can use this to mute the vocals, and it's doing a pretty good job. They're kind of there in the background, almost like a backing singer, and you've got yourself a backing track if you want to do some karaoke, which I think is a really cool idea, and it seems to work pretty well. So I quite like the styling of this. I'm not sure I would use it over my existing mic setup where I can just pin a mic on or have a mic on the camera, but if you're looking for something like this when you're out and about, certainly if you're someone who uses a mobile to do a lot of recording, this will really help up your game in terms of sound quality and it gives you a really nice prop so if you're a singer you want to hold on to the mic and really go for it which i'm not and i won't inflict that on you don't worry um, then this could be a really great choice initially this is going to be crowdfunded and then i'm sure like the other products they will make it available probably via amazon and their own website i will keep an eye on it and i will put links in the description below they're probably going to be affiliate links so if you want to learn more about this check out the current price see if you've got any special offers on all that kind of stuff go and check out the description below hope you found this video useful Thanks for watching.